Hello everyone, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to use has to. Okay, so what is has to? Has to is a utility to calculate the has of multiple files or a single file. A file has is the signature of a file and is used in many applications. For example, checking the integrity of a download file. So let me show you where student can download the, the hash tool. I have this hash tool 1.2 on my desktop already, but I want to show you how to download it. You go to this website, okay? I'm going to provide this link in the blackboard so student can go to this link and download it to your PC. Where is this? Here we go. I have the the, the hash tools. Okay. Bank, 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 so Please download this, okay? This is the web address. Uh, once you download it, okay, before I mention that, this is basically a freeware tool to calculate MD5 or SHA uh, encryption hashes on a single or multiple files, okay? Once you download it and install it in your PC, you will find that this uh, dialog box pop up once you open that. Okay, so let me show you how to to use these tools. I'm going to open a new pad. Uh, I'm going to create this. Let me see. I'm going to create a file which is in the notepad. Uh, this is an example how to use a hash tool. Okay. This is the original file. I'm going to file and save as. I'm going to name this hash testing file. Okay. Hash testing file. I'm going to save this on the desktop and I'm going to upload that. I'm going to upload this. Uh, and then find the hash value of that. Select hash testing file. Okay. This time I'm going to use MD5 first. Okay. MD5. Let me see. Select a file and then I'm going to use MD5. Okay. Here is my MD5. Notice that the, the digit is way much smaller than the share because share is more secure okay they have a stronger encryption so i'm gonna copy this copy it and then i'm gonna put it in my notepad here right let me delete this because i did some testing earlier here is the original has value using md5 notice that for two dot 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 until 5a 4d okay let's say that somebody modify the file okay i'm gonna put this i'm gonna open this and let's say that the hacker let's say that the hackers modify this file i just modify your file okay and then i save this again okay now let's check the hash value again i'm going to select and has testing file notice that is different now now i'm going to put it in here right if i compare the original file and the one that is being hacked notice that it is different right the has value the first one the original file ending with 5a 4d and the modified one is ending with 2166 okay so let's put it back again Let's say that I'm going to delete this. 
put this in the original file again right and let's double check with it see if it's go back to the original okay all right here 5b right 5d 4b i'm going to copy this okay now you will see that after i change it back everything oh they give me a different one i guess i change it right that mean because the keystroke count so let's put it to the original file okay let me see here uh let me see this has thing has time value okay so you need to do here let me see uh, because if you accidentally put another keystroke they will detect it as a change right let me see has value again see if this is correct okay yeah notice that i put that the original this is the same of that okay so the md5 has value if i put it back to the original it will be the same okay uh they are very sensitive if i put like a keystroke here everything's gonna be different like that for example right so it has to be you need to put that to the original so the hash value will not change all right so that is how a student can use uh, this hash tool to uh, to to make sure that the file has not been tampered all right md5 uh, is not a strong encryption uh, for the lab, I want student to test using SHA-256, okay? Of course, SHA-512 is way much stronger, okay? So, in this video, I show you using MD5 hash type. So, student can try to, to experiment uh, using this tool, you, uh, of this tool using SHA-256, okay? Uh, let me explain a little bit theory about that okay so where to download i just show you the link here right um the purpose of this has to is to check the download or generating has has value for the file okay to check the integrity so for example when someone download something from the internet they can check whether the file is corrupt or no okay Normally, when students uh, download a program, they can check the hash value from the company that they provided. If the hash value is the same, that means everything looks good. Also, to check whether the data has not been tampered. Remember earlier, I just show you, if I change the file, the hash value will be changed, right? Uh, the fourth purpose is can be used for digital forensic okay so if someone work as a digital work as a forensic investigator they may use this tool to make sure that things has not been changed okay uh, I just explained the definition and there are md5 hashes and the SHA hashes right the the md5 is not cryptologically stronger basically it's not as secure as the shia okay shia is more crypto cryptographically stronger and secure especially with the version 256 and 512 you notice that the string is way much longer here i didn't show you in this video so student can do some experiments uh using these tools okay uh I think that's about it that I want to mention about this uh, program called Has Tool. I hope that this video is informative and value to you. And thank you for watching.